Okay, now we're going to be learning about monosaccharides. Now monosaccharides are single sugars, hence mono, one, and saccharides, sugar. Single sugars, monosaccharides. Okay, now monosaccharides dissolve in water to produce sweet solutions. Very sweet, very tasty, yummy stuff. They are also monomers, and they build other carbohydrates using the condensation reaction. An example of this is the alpha glucose. A very, very exciting diagram of it. I am quite the da Vinci. Now, if you want to make this from an alpha glucose to a beta glucose, then you literally swap this with that around. So they have the same molecular formula, they just have different structures. But apart from these two, the rest is the same. Very luckily. Now in an exam, the examiners think it would help us so much to just miss out the carbons here because, you know, they think our minds would explode with the extra carbons. So they decide to just miss them out. But we need to remember that they are there, so don't forget that. Now, these glucoses, which currently are monosaccharides because they're on their own, can join to make a disaccharide and polysaccharide. Disaccharides, you've guessed, probably are just two of these joined together. Now, when they are joined, this, they have to be joined using a condensation reaction. And when this happens, water is removed and a glycosidic bond is made. Now, when I say water is removed, I mean, say, say if this joined with something identical, okay? Now, I could get rid of that and get rid of the hydrogen, you know, H2O, and then they'd be joined with just the O, the oxygen. Do you understand? So, H, two H's, H2, and then one O, H2O. I could do it the other way around. I could just get rid of both of these, take that one H and have be left with that O. It doesn't really matter, as long as H2O is removed. And I need to note, when I draw the new diagram of them joined together, I need to note that H2O is removed, or water is removed. Just note that, because you need to treat the examiner like they are stupid. Now when that's been done, they join to make a disaccharide. An example of a disaccharide is maltose. Hence my little joke here, malta. Two islands, so you know, just think of it as two gluco glucoses. And because they're joined in the country, malta, maltose. Yeah, you can, you can ignore that if you want. Now an alpha glucose on its own, is the main respiratory substrate and it's a monomer for synthesizing other carbohydrates. And there you go. Monosaccharides. Wonderful things.